Welcome to the unicorn circuit, everyone. What are we doing, Martin? We are hiking up a hill. We call it a bushwalk. In America, they call it hiking. You hike, that's how you get around if you're not in a car. Welcome to the Unicorn Circuit, USA edition. Los Angeles. We are in LA, the city of angels and possibly the, the city of demons as well, Martin. Potentially, yes. And it is uh, a big city with as many people in it almost as Australia has as a country. Yeah, that, is it 20 something million? Something like that. And it's crazy. There's lots of people, there's lots of cars, there's lots of crazy food. Um, and um, I've got a special hat um, that I just bought. Let me show you how that went down. What's the most American hat you have? American hat. American yeah. baby. And they got it. Really? Yeah. I want the most American hat you've got. And I okay. want to put it on my head. I want you to put okay. it on your feet too. On my penis? Yes. Really? Yes. That's weird. Darkest. Yeah? Which which one's that? Really? Yeah. Alright. I'll take one of those. Which one? What size? Uh medium. Medium. Let me see here. Uh okay. small medium. Try that one, I don't know if it'll fit you. You can't say you wear small and say you put it on your penis in the same subject. <laughs> That's not good. Yeah, so apparently this is this is like the hat to have in it. I think I look silly actually. Was it the most expensive hat in the entire shop? Uh, it was 35 American dollars, which means that's what's that 50 bucks I Australian think or something? Every other hat I saw was like 20. Which is just crazy. So but, but anyway, it says LA and that's cool. Martin, we've been here for a couple of days. We've been trying the foods. Uh, we've had a In-N-Out burger, which was delicious. We had a, what was that, chili burger thing we had? A chili cheese fries. There was a donut with bacon on it. The donut with bacon, that was just that was And crazy. here's the other weird thing, Martin, before we kick into car news. Sugar. They've got weird sugar and stuff. I saw a drink today advertised as made with real sugar. That was the, that was the thing, it was like real sugar. So it's like the 80s, the 80s was no added, no, the 80s was no fat. The 2000s was no added sugar. Now we're no added corn syrup and we're real sugar and other things. I'm, that's, I'm that's so just, confused. That's just wacky. It. Crazy. There's a lot of things that are confusing about the States. Like when you go to shops, I think mm. things are in a weird area. America. Hard drives, hard drives, motherboards, USB sticks, memory card holders, SD cards and pepper spray. And what's weird about that is that the, the pepper spray actually says like recommended by US law enforcement. That's illegal in Australia, by the way. And it's cheap. It was like, like four bucks. Like cheaper than an SD card. Amazing. That was crazy. Amazing. So Martin, we're, um, we are up in the mountains here looking for the Hollywood sign. Someone told me the Hollywood sign is up a massive hill in Hollywood. I don't even know if we're near Hollywood. We are, we're in Hollywood, but we're nowhere near the sign. I don't see the sign. And um, it's getting dark and we just thought we may as well just stop on this path and make the unicorn circuit. Plus it's probably a side of LA people don't usually see. So there it is, unicorn circuit, American edition. Let's cut to car news. Now first off in car news, we want to talk Uber because Uber's not really a big thing in Australia. Um, massive kerfuffle with the taxi industry mm. over here it's just how people it's just how people drive around you say here's where i am here's where i want to go it gives you a fair estimate most of our fares have been four to five dollars yeah. to get around this area yeah to get a good like 10 15 minute drive we're staying in the burbank area which was it seems really nice um in fact it's so nice i'm going to get a little video right now just to show everybody how nice it is but uber martin it's like our uber driver today he appeared to be drifting remember we booked an uber and we're looking at the screen and he's like getting hectic and crazy but um, but they've got a, like people are selling their cars around here, aren't they? Just they to Uber. They're I'm gonna get some them. mad shots of this. It's this not just awesome. Uber as well. There's lots of other brands. There's Lyft and there's like a carpooling one and various pricing. It's like any sort of tech industry where someone comes up with an idea and then everyone else goes, "That's a mad idea. We're gonna do the same thing and try and get on the action." So they do. But an interesting story I saw about this was the fact that a guy called Eric Spiegelman. Yes. There's a big article about him. Um, selling his car or getting rid of his, his leased car, which I think was costing about 458 US dollars a month for the lease itself. That's a lot of money. Another like 100 bucks in fuel, another 100 bucks in insurance. So he was up about 750 US dollars a month to own his car. Wow. And so he sold it, got rid of it, and started using Uber and Lyft and all these companies. 
And you know, in the first, I think first couple of months, he saved thousands of dollars um, yeah, for wow. the amount of driving because there's a, this is a car city. It's known as a place that you need a car to get anywhere. And as from a tourist perspective, that's in the, in the past, that was true. Well, last night we decided that we would walk home from where we were, we were eating, right? There's no footpath. no footpath. We ended up like running down the road, dodging trucks yeah. and stuff. It was crazy. And but in the years we've been here before Uber, it was taxis, but they were hard to come by. Well, you, you and I spent like, I don't know, maybe it was three or four years ago, standing on the side of the street waiting for a taxi, almost got mugged and then just went stuff and just walked back to our hotel. You know what's crazy about Eric Spiegelman? No. He's like part of the taxi commission. Oh, really? He's a dude that works in the taxi industry and he's like, I'm just getting rid of my car. Wow. Which I thought was crazy. That's, I mean, they're, I mean, like a lot of American companies, SpaceX and whatever, like mm. they're just, they're just changing, they're changing the game a bit. Changing but it up. I think what's interesting about it is that a lot of people that we met who are driving Uber are just doing it on the weekend. It's yep. not their job. They're, yep. they're at college or they're doing other jobs. The one we met today was a single mom and she does it while the kids are at school. And um, I think that's one of the best things about riding like with them. You can say like, what's your craziest story? Mm. And if it's like the guy last night, it was, he said he got punched in the back of the head by a stripper. Drunk strippers. Uh, by There's drunk strippers. Um, and then they realized that they were sorry and he got some special tip um but there it is man we've been mm. ubering like bosses we have been um and um and i love driving and i don't i don't mind like driving in la either um it can be a bit crazy compared to home like to some of the traffic jams we've seen like they had an hour to your trip so yeah, it's yeah. an hour drive yeah add the traffic it's two hours i reckon we should do it one day like do a super grants and a supercharged mini just a day and people can book us and we'll drive them to their formal or something that'd be pretty cool that'd be rad yeah anyway let's jump into weird stuff from unicorn Now, usually on the Unicorn circuit, when we're showing you guys some weird stuff from Unicorn, it's stuff that we've bought off the internet. That's not required in USA, is it, Martin? There's variety, so much variety of stuff everywhere. There's you go to an electronics shop and there's food. You go to a food shop, you can buy electronics. You go to like an agricultural store and you can buy tractors. It's crazy. Yes, you're right. Which is not surprising. Or you can go to a computer shop and buy Freedom of choice, the Chia Donald Trump. Now, I don't know what this is. Um, what I do know is that it says, freedom of choice, American flag, Donald Trump, full growth in one to two weeks, made in China. Now, I don't know what it is. It even bothers to say on the back, printed and packaged in the US. Oh, printed in the US, thanks for that. Uh, from what I understand, it's Donald Trump and his head grows Grass. Um, new hair. It's like grass, isn't it? Is it? Chia, chia pets are a thing from way back in the day. You put some seeds in some water and they Do you grow. Eat it? I don't think so. I think okay. it's just decorative. So obviously there's an election coming up in the States. I don't need to talk about that because I got nothing to say about it. Do you, Martin? Not really. Nothing right. interesting to say about Good. it. Good. So there's the chia seeds. Except that it's all over the news at home. And, and inside abroad. here, we will find. Oh, there it is. Wow, that's ugly. You have to soak him in water for half an hour. There it is. That's Donald Trump, everyone. Made in China. Wow, it even prints it on everything. <laughs> I just blew Donald Trump, everyone. Um, I might, shall I leave him there? Is that? Wilderness littering. I already thought about doing it, but I'm like, you know what? We shouldn't litter in, that, no, we'll you know, in that. such a pretty place. Um, there it is, everybody. The Donald Trump freedom of choice chia plant. Pad. Do you know what I'll do? We won't break it. We'll throw it in the air and just see what happens when it lands. We can. You can also buy. Of course, fanking is the delightful and artistic creation where you hold a product down near your groin and take a photo of it, therefore recontextualizing the object's name, title, or description. Meaning. And meaning. Um, the fanking page has been going off, by the way. We've been getting fanked at from all over the world. And let's just kick straight into it with a bit of handcrafted wood. So I'm assuming, Martin, that this is some kind of uh, beer. Okay. Uh, that's that's some handcrafted wood right there. Awesome. There's a mosquito nibbling my ear. Oh, something, that's, something big. That's it unfortunate. Sounded noisy. It sounded like a, a trumpet. Um, next up, Martin. Let's just cut straight to this. This is French's barbecue wing. Oh wow. That's great. Isn't That's a it? good use of double thumbing. I'm always confused how people take the photos, but good on them. How do you take the photo when you've got both hands on the wing? I have no idea. I've wondered for a while. Martin, the big D. There it is, the tough action. Oh, there you go. There it is. Just just getting getting the job done. Here, oh wow. Oh, that's, um, okay. that's, that's, I've not seen that before. Oh, wow. What did it say before? I have no idea. 
Lad cream. <laughs> lads are thing, especially if you're from the UK, right? Lads? Um, oh, you're a lad. I think, uh, you know, so you, yeah. lads are like guys that wear their like, kind of hats like what you're wearing and, yep. and pull their pants down and run around. Kind of how you do. Uh, oh, you don't go like, uh, but you wear your pants low like that. No, I don't, man. Yeah. Okay. Never. And lastly, of course, let's just get straight into some big cock, everyone. There it is. Um, that looks I feel like, like we've seen that more than once in our time, but that's cool. Big cock, it says it hits the spot. Fantastic. So, there it is. Of course, if you would like to send in your own fanking photos, you can send them uh, into our Facebook page, which is facebook.com forward slash fanking daily. There it is. Let's hook straight into some very exciting story time. Whatever I just told you was going to be the next segment, I was probably wrong. Because uh, it's actually time for my town, which, which is I forgot about. Awesome. I it's love our my brand town. new and favourite segment where you guys send in videos of your towns and your crappy tourist attractions. So, we got a really cool one this week. Let's just let him speak for himself. This is my town. Hey guys, my name is Kyle and I live in Tulsa, Oklahoma, which is in the United States. And this is my town. Right here. So one cool thing about Turkey Mountain and the uh, the whole park system here in Tulsa is uh, that it, it's it's pretty nice. Like my favorite thing about this is there are a ton of Subarus always in the parking lot. How's it going, man? Good for you. Do you mind filming real quick? Hey, what is that for? Can you say uh, hi to the Unicorn Circuit? It's an internet show. Hi to the Unicorn Circuit. There you go. Coming up on the BOK Center, the Bank of Oklahoma Center. And it's an event center where a bunch of events are held. We have the Oklahoma Jazz Hall of Fame. This is something that is pretty freaking crazy. Okay, so in the 50s, the United States was doing experimenting with alien technology. And they uh, deployed a capsule into space and it came crashing down. Um, with alien technology and also alien life forms and it landed on the side of a road in Ulaga, Oklahoma. So yeah, that's my town. Thanks for watching. What do you think, Martin? I learned things. Did you? I've never seen a video about that place. Never I'm been snacking. There. In America, you? you snack and you beverage and when you, you have a beverage as you are mobile. And they give when you, you travel, extras. you have beverage. And no, you can get free refills. They gave me a root beer, uh, which sounds like copulating and getting drunk at the same time, but it's not. It's actually a drink. And I was halfway not down alcoholic. this bucket of root beer, and then they go, would you like a refill? And I went, oh, no, because I've, I've still got about a litre left. And they go, it's free. Oh, no, because I've still got a litre. It's a free refill. Oh, I, no, I don't actually need it. And then they... Added root they beer. Just put it, they, just, they just did it PS, without how my good permission. Root, how good is root beer? They're just like, they give it to, they were just shocked that anyone would not want root beer. And, other thing, love America, why is it when they give you a napkin, they give you 20 napkins? And when you ask for a sauce, in Australia, sauces are 35 cents for a little packet. Here, yesterday we got those chili fry things, they gave us 28 packets of sauce. Just there. And you know what, that was great because I had 26 of them and there was two left which means there's two to save for next time. But normally in Australia, that would cost you like six dollars. You've got to ration that stuff like lube. Yeah. Like, or other like car, Other liquids like that you get in packets. Like, totally. You've just got like tiny little squirt and ah, yeah, you know? that's it. It's all over. <laughs> anyway, let's move on with the show. So story time this week takes us back into the recent past, the more recent past, uh, when there was a certain incident um, on the social medias involving our friends at Roadkill and a, another not to be named associated media thing. Anyway, um, you guys went crazy, all the fans went crazy, Roadkill and MCM fans went nuts and said that Roadkill and MCM should do a thing. What's MCM, man? We've got another YouTube channel, believe it or not. We do. Called Mighty Car Mods. Yeah. We try and fiddle with cars. It's, um, Sometimes, outside anyway. of doing other things. So um, the fans spoke and, and we listened and we got in touch with the Roadkill guys. It's been a couple of months of back and forth trying to figure it out because we are literally on the other sides of the world. And that sounds like an easy thing to fix. No. But when you actually want to go film some stuff and make some cars and 
get it all organised and get permits and insurance. It's expensive and it's time consuming and it's a long time on a plane breathing in other people's stench. It is, and man, I breathe a lot of stench on this trip. Sorry about that. Um, so the news, the news part, and the uh, interesting story time part is that this week you may have seen a little video that we put up on our uh, main Mighty Car Mods channel uh, of us looking for Top Gear Called and knock, knock. not finding them. No, because we, we are in LA and we have met up with Roadkill. Now a lot of people are like, oh my God, you guys must be doing a video together. Yes, we are, but we're not doing it this trip. This trip was just a bit of a, we've never met them before. Our fans have been wearing their t-shirts, their fans have been wearing Mighty Mods t-shirts. So we met up with them and we had a chat and we're like, are we actually gonna do this? Yes, we are, it is confirmed 100%. Mighty Car Mods and Roadkill are doing a collaboration. We met the guys yesterday. Uh, we went through the details of what we're gonna do. Um, it's actually happening. So we're gonna be coming back to America again. Once we know when that is, we'll let you guys know, but it's not gonna be this trip mm -hmm. because we're, we're transiting through LA at the moment. We're on our way to another country and had to get through here first. So that's, that's, that's the big news story. Mighty Car Mods and Roadkill confirmed 100%. Um, uh, certainly, uh, as far as we know, it's just gonna be free on YouTube. You keep your eye on the social medias and you'll see the evolution of that story yeah, as it unfolds. Yeah, details and stuff as, we'll it, as it unfolds. But, um, but there was some things, oh, we're gonna have to pay, it's gonna be whatever. No, you won't. No. It's just, you want. It's going to be epic. It's, it's going to be, be so awesome. good. It's going to be rad. Mm. So there it is. Let's finish up now with my favourite segment of the show, which is Weird Food from Unicorn. Well, I'm pretty sure we're being hunted by either a person or a coyote or a wildebeest hyenas? or a rattlesnake. Do they have hyenas here? A, a hyenas. They have rattlesnakes. You're thinking of a hyenas. They have alligators. You've got mozzies all over your head, man. They have crocodiles. Man, in America, they love mixing weird, weird foods together. Bacon donuts, um, jelly fries, mm -hmm. um, jelly baby snack fry bites. Chili everything. Um, chili cheese dogs on a layer cheese of Cheese on cream. everything. Um, this morning, what did we see? Bacon and Nutella. Yep on French toast smothered in maple syrup and chunks of pig. And cheese is a condiment. Um, you so can condiment anything with cheese. I bought today, thing. Martin, kind of a snack version of some of those things. Not that wacky, mm -hmm. but still very American. I hope it's made in America. This here, this is HK Anderson's peanut butter filled pretzel nuggets. Oh wow. So Pretzel nuggets. They're, 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 they're pretzel nuggets. Um, I thought they were quite big, but I just realized now this says enlarged to show texture. Oh. Which is quite a good fink, really. So they're little. Um, so where are these made, everybody? They're made in Omaha. Cool. Which is in the USA. Shout out to Omaha people. A shout out. Comment um, if you're from Omaha. Here's what I'll also say. These are sustainable. Oh, no, they're not. Just the printing sustainable. That's good. Um, don't worry about that. Um, here we go. Uh, the company's been around since 1888. We just found these today um, at an electronics shop while we were buying an HDMI cable. And not buying pepper So spray. here they are. Peanut butter filled pretzel nuggets. I'm glad that this doesn't... Oh, not... smells peanutty, mate. Come on. Wait. Now they're massive. Oh, so peanut buttery. Mate, here's a shout out to USA and our Mighty Mods friends here and our Unicorn Circuit uh, friends here. Uh, thank you very much for watching. We're going to try and find our way out of this. We Canyon. would call it the bush here. What do they call it? They call it the woods. They would call no, it the no, because there's no woods here. What do they call this? I desert? Don't know. I don't know what this is. It's fairly desolate. It looks like a desert, but I like absolutely it. Absolutely beautiful. The sun's going down over the mountains. We're likely to get bitten um, by or a eaten. coyote or, or penetrated by a snake of some kind. But thank you very much for watching. Peanut butter. Follow our balls on the um, Unicorn Circuit, which there's a Facebook page, um, which is facebook.com forward slash the Unicorn Circuit. Cheers. Thank you for watching. Peanut butter pretzels. Um, They're actually delicious. That's so salty. Weird. So peanutty. So sweet. Feel like you need a few gallons of water. Oh, mum. To wash it That's down. fantastic. You love them? Yeah. Oh. We've got to pick them up. Uh, ah. Ah. Mm. Hey guys. The hyenas will eat them. Get a truck, hyenas. We'll clean everything up because we're responsible. Keep Australia, keep America beautiful.